And I like a lot about your ba uh, your backswing too. You know, to me, a lot of your issues, in fact, all of the focus that we're going to have on this particular lesson here is actually going to be related to the downswing. You know, you take the club back, the club has a little inside the hands. It's not a big concern. Club face is matching the spine angle more or less, which is great. So I'm happy to see that. You know, you're starting to open up the hips in the backswing, which is really good. I like the changes in knee flex here. Left knee's flexing down a little bit, right leg is straightening up. So all is good. And then as we continue going all the way up to the top, up until this point, again, uh, for me, there's nothing that's too alarming. You know, I like the shoulder plane and the pelvic tilt. So your posture at the top of your backswing is very good. Again, I like this change in knee flex. I think that's very good. I like the left arm more or less matching the shoulder plane with the hands right over the heels of the feet, very neutral position. Club face a little bit on the close side, grips a little strong with some flexion to the wrist so the face angle gets shut, but besides that, everything looks pretty good. And I really like the way the club moves in transition in terms of how it starts to work towards a shallow position. You know, I, I talk a lot about the ghosting on the internet. One of the things I'm a big advocate of is the club laying down for most players towards a shallow direction, meaning in transition, this club starts to work progressively behind the body. The biggest concern to me is the fact that you have this shallowing mechanism in your swing, you have this club dropping behind the body, but your body does not rotate well enough to support it. And that's really where the issue lies, is the fact that when this club starts to come down towards a shallow position, the body really needs to be opening up in order to support that so that the golfer doesn't get stuck too far from the inside. When the body is not rotating as well as it needs to for the way the club works, so as a matchup there, then the club can get stuck too far behind the body coming down into a, too much of a shallow position. And that's essentially what we see with your golf swing. And so if we continue to work this backwards, we can see again at the top of the swing, things look really good, hand path in a neutral position. As you start to work down, you're gonna see that the way the hand path works is a little bit steeper than I would like to see it. I would love to see that hand path the hand path work a little bit more outward towards the golf ball and that would come organically if we got the body moving better meaning all that would require is a little bit better uh, rotation of the body and you would get not only the hands more in front of you you would prevent the club from getting stuck because late in the swing here there's a couple of things really that stands out that would create the excessive draw curve that you're struggling with number one like i said the club head being stuck just way too shallow and from behind the body number two the hands are very close to the body as well, which signifies to me, based on where you were at the top, that the hands have not worked outward enough in transition, which would happen on its own if you rotated better. And then number three, from here, you know, you come into the golf ball, a little jammed up with the right arm and the hands relative to the body because of that lack of rotation or lack of sufficient rotation, I would call it. And so from there, what ends up happening is you have to really flip the hands over at impact to kind of prevent the ball from just going way, way to the right. Meaning in order to prevent a big push or a block, your hands have to take over at the bottom to try to save it. Um, and a lot of the damage is obviously already done from there. So for me, it's not going to be that much work for us to improve your golf swing. You really have two options from here. The first option is always what my personal suggestion is, which in your case would be to improve the rotation improving the rotation gets the hands to work more in front of you so that by let's say this point here in the downswing your hands would be a little bit more in front of you so the club wouldn't be as stuck you would have a little bit more space coming down from there your hands would again be a little bit more in front of you if you rotated better and the benefit of that is the club would also be more in front of you so you would have a lot more space for the hands uh, at impact to work more left and not feels or look so stuck and jammed up like it does now Obviously, the byproduct of rotating better is that your path wouldn't be so far from the inside. So you wouldn't um, have such a big right to left curve and you wouldn't have to flip at it to avoid a block. Your start lines would be a little bit more consistent. Um, and number three, obviously, with rotation comes a little bit more passiveness of the hands at the bottom. So you can knock out every single one of these problems literally with just a better pivot through the ball, which is going to be our focus. Let's say long term you uh, are trying to work on this and you struggle to build in rotation for whatever reason it feels a little difficult for you or it doesn't seem like something you'd be able to get then from there what we would do instead is we would just get your arm playing taller in the backswing meaning rather than having to rely on so much body rotation through the ball if we took the same sequence of how your body moves right now but we got the lead arm a little bit taller 
naturally your hands would get more in front of you without you having to do anything different. And then from there, the club wouldn't be stuck so far from the inside. So it's two very different options. Both are viable. Both would solve your excessively shallow inside out path situation that you're dealing with. And both of them would create space for the hands uh, to be a little bit more arcing inward through impact. The difference between the two of them is that number one, for me, the rotation comes with a little bit more passiveness of the, of the hands at the bottom, so I prefer that. Number two, rotating better come, would come with some better tilts. It would come with some better pressure shift as well. So that would be my priority number one. But if for whatever reason it's not something you're able to do or you don't like the feels of trying to rotate better, then there is another option of getting the arm plane taller and letting that organically take care of your downswing issues and your club path and all that. Not my personal choice, but still a viable option regardless. So uh, that's what we're gonna focus on here and I'll uh, film you some, dr some drills on how to go about it.